can you solve this geometry challenge? Here's the question. Given this parallelogram ABCD and this figure is not going to scale, let's draw some segments like this. And let's name some important points. So this point, let's call this as E, this is F, this is G, this is H, and this is I. Now the area of this triangle is 4 square units. The area of this triangle is 1 square units. And the area of this triangle is 3 square units. Now the question is what is the area of this orange triangle represented as X? So pause this video right now and see if you can answer this question. Because I will show you the solution in 3, 2, 1. Alright, so given this figure, again, this figure is not going to scale. And the goal is to find the area of this region represented as X. So to answer this kind of question, what we're going to do is to use two different concepts. So the first one is the concept about trapezoid. So there are two main concepts here. So the diagonal cuts quadrilateral into four triangles, which one opposite pair have equal areas. In our figure, this is area N and area M. So N equals M. Now, another concept is the product of the areas of two triangles formed by one diagonal equals the product of the areas of two triangles formed by the other diagonal. In short, in our figure, we can say that n times m equals s times t. Alright, so we will use this to answer this question. And the other concept is what we call the ladder theorem. So if we have this kind of triangle, we can say that 1 over the area of the whole triangle plus 1 over the bottom part, which is y, equals 1 over x plus y plus 1 over y plus z. This is what we call the ladder theorem. So using these two concepts, we are now able to find the value of this area x. So let's begin. So before that, let's call the area of this parallelogram ABCD as A. And let's insert two segments and that's it. That's all we need to answer this question. So first, let's consider this trapezoid A, D, E, B. Now, this green region have an equal area. So this triangle A, I, D measures 4 square units. In short, triangle B, I, E is also 4 square units. So we have this triangle equals 1 square unit. Therefore, the area of the triangle B, H, E is simply equal to 3 square units. Now, let's consider this another trapezoid. And take note, these screen regions are equal. So this triangle F, H, D also measures 3 square units. And now, what we're going to do is to let this region be equal to Y. Why not? And using the second concept, we can say that X plus 3 multiplied by Y plus 1 equals 3 times 3. Or simply 3 times 3 simply equal to 9. So we have now an equation that involves x. And the goal is to find the value of x, not the value of y. All right, so let's set aside this equation. Now, let's use the other concept, which is the ladder theorem. So using this triangle right over here, take note that the area of triangle A, E, B is equal to half the area of parallelogram ABCD. This is not hard to prove. So using the ladder theorem in this triangle, we can say that 1 over the area of the triangle, which is half the area of the parallelogram, so 1 over A over 2 plus 1 over 3 equals 1 over X plus 3 plus 3 plus 1 over 3 plus 1. Now simplify. 1 over A over 2, this is simply equivalent to 2 over A. And x plus 3 plus 3, this will give us x plus 6. And 3 plus 1 simply equal to 4. Now we have another equation in terms of x. So let's set aside this result. Now let's consider another triangle. And let's use again the ladder theorem. Now using the ladder theorem in this triangle, 
we have 2 over a plus 1 over 3 equals 1 over y plus 4 because y plus 1 plus 3 plus 1 over 3 plus 3 or 6. Now, we have three equations and the goal is to find the value of x. So let's begin. Let's focus on this 3. Now, let's focus on these two because notice if we add these two results, we have something like 4 over a plus this becomes 2 over 3 equals 1 over x plus 6 plus 1 over y plus 4 plus 1 over 6 plus 1 over 4. This will give us 5 over 12. Now subtract 2 thirds on both sides. This will give us 5 over 12 minus 2 over 3. This is just negative 1 over 4. Now let's focus on this result. Now take note, if we can find the value of this expression, 1 over x plus 6 plus 1 over y plus 4, we get the area of the parallelogram ABCD because the area of parallelogram ABCD is simply equal to A. Now after getting the A, maybe we can find the value of x. So to find the value of this expression, we will use the third equation, which is x plus 3 multiplied by y plus 1 equals 9. And the question is, we don't have x plus 6 and y plus 4. So that's very simple. Let's add 0. But that's 0 in the form of 3 minus 3. This is just 0 and this is just 0. But if we simplify this, x plus 3 plus 3, this will give us x plus 6. And y plus plus 1 plus 3, this is y plus 4. Now, let's combine x plus 6 and y plus 4. Now, let's focus on this and let's expand this using FOIL method. And then, what we're going to do is to subtract 9 on both sides. And let's focus on this result. Now, let's divide all of this term by the product of x plus 6 and y plus 4. And there you have it. Now, what we're going to do is to subtract 1 on both sides and divide all of this term by negative 3. So we have 1 over x plus 6 plus 1 over y plus 4 equals 1 over 3. Now, this is the value of this expression. So we can replace this with 1 over 3. Now, 4 over a equals 1 over 3 minus 1 over 4. 1 over 3 minus 1 over 4, this is just 1 over 12. Now, cross multiply, we get the area of the parallelogram equals 48 square units. Now going back to our figure, we now know that the area of this parallelogram ABCD is 48 square units. Now let's focus on this triangle. We know the area of this triangle is half the area of the parallelogram. And also, one thing to notice here is this green region is just 3 plus 3 or 6 square units. Now, the area of this triangle, CFD, is half of 48, which is 24. We have this 6, so this yellow region is 24 minus 6 or simply equal to 18 square units. And now, to find the value of x, we will use this trapezoid. So using, again, the concept of trapezoid, the first concept, we can say that these two green regions have the same area. So the bottom part is also 6 square units. Now, using the second concept, the product of 18 and x equals the product of 6 and 6. So we have 18 times x equals 6 times 6. 6 times 6 is 36. And to find the value of x, divide all of this term by 18 and get the value of x as 2. And that is our answer. To this question. So therefore, given this figure, and this figure is not drawn to scale, then the area of this region represented as x simply equal to 2 square units. And as always, we are done. And of course, if you learn something from this video, you need to practice what you've learned. So let's have an extra challenge. So given this parallelogram ABCD, the goal is to find the area of this parallelogram ABCD. So I will read your answer in the comment section down below.
and see you on our next video.